Hello, I'm Jose Diaga and uh, I represent Redo Publishing. I'm the CEO, founder, and uh, I'm here to explain to you guys what we are, what I am, who I am, and how you know I can help you and um, how you can help yourself. At the end of the day, it's all about um, the freedom that a near zero marginal cost society will bring to us and you know what all that means and that's it. At the end of the day, the, um, you know, we're all going to learn together and uh, I'm going to teach you guys, you know, I'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know to get on there. So that's it. You got any questions for me, Lewis? We've uh, required a bunch of questions from a bunch of friends and uh, get the ball rolling to see if, you know, we can answer some of your questions already, you know, ans you know that you guys already have out there and uh, go from there. Let's go. All right. <laughs> How can I start my own business? How can you start your own business? Easy. Yes. Look, first of all, right now we live in a world where we pretty much have all the tools necessary in order to create our own future, our own business, our own everything. So because of YouTube, because of the internet, Wikipedia, just everything that's out there, um, you know, with just enough hard work, you know, and enough hustle, that's you know uh, you can do whatever you want and you can accomplish anything it's it's really not that hard I mean sim simply just pick whatever you know look within yourself and find out you know hey I like art I like uh, being a carpenter I like making music I like you know taking care of kids I like me uh, whatever it doesn't matter film um, making people laugh uh, teaching people um, it doesn't matter um, at the end of the day, whether you you know you already have an established career, you know whether you're a lawyer, a doctor, or something like that, there's tons of knowledge you can provide, you know, to other professionals or others, you know, that are out there, you know, um, you can also you know provide uh, you know all kinds of. Okay. What was the question again? How can you start your own business, right? Yes, sir. So, how you can start your own business, okay, is that once you have acquired whatever idea you've acquired, you know, like, hey, I want to do this, this is what I love with my life, okay? You just start, you know, creating something out of it. So let's just make a quick example, okay? I want to make uh, a Wi-Fi stapler, you know, some sort of stapler that, you know, I don't know, can staple things through Wi-Fi, whatever. Anyway, probably a horrible idea, but still, hey, you can probably make it happen. <laughs> In order to, to make it happen, what you need to do is that, you know, um, start creating a prototype, you know, start creating the idea, start, you know, get an Instagram, put it on Facebook, start uh, putting it out there, you know, about what your, you know, your idea, what it is and all this stuff. You know, if it's a bad idea like that, you know, you're probably going to get the instant feedback and people are going to tell you, hey, no good, no bueno. If you still want to go with it, you have all the tools necessary in order to market and to make it and sell it and get someone to finance it or finance it yourself in order to push forward and make the Wi-Fi stapler and hey, prove everybody wrong. You know, at the end of the day, if you don't want to do anything like that, you simply want to just continue doing what you're doing or just doing uh, something else, you know, like let's say painting or just educating others or being a mentor, you can do that as well, you know, just getting on YouTube or writing a blog or providing any kind of knowledge and just, you know, whether it's in law or medicine or, you know, it doesn't matter, gardening, cooking, if it's something that's useful, something, some sort of knowledge that's, you know, going to be whether inner, you know, useful or, you know, help someone else or educate someone else or anything like that, bring you the views, you know, bring you, you know, the eyes, you know, that's what you need, you know, you know, once you get all that, you know, the marketers and all this other stuff, which we'll talk about later, will start coming to you, and then again, you can start your own business. Again, it really doesn't matter, just pick whatever it is you want to do, and just start getting the ball rolling. So, like I said, you know, get an Instagram account, Get a you know a YouTube you know video going uh, you know start writing a blog anything start creating that social capital start creating like a name for yourself in the sense that you know people are gonna know that you're known for this whatever that might be and that's how that goes you know and then you start building your business it takes time it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of effort it's not gonna happen overnight it's not gonna happen in a couple months it's gonna take maybe a year or longer, or, you know, years. But at the end of the day, it's yours and it's, you know, you're creating something out of nothing. And you can't do this. 
You can do this after you get home from work. After you get home from you know doing your thing. It's just wanting to do this and not being lazy and sitting on the couch and watching whatever shows on. What's on? What, what show do you watch? Family Guy. Family Guy. Hey, I like, I like Family Guy. I like Second it. question from Eric. Can I start my own business Eric? working 50, 60 hours a week? Oh, great. Perfect segue. Perfect uh, question. Yeah, of course you can. And so that, you know, like no matter how many hours you're working, whether it's 40, 60, 80, you know, you can really find the time to make it happen. I know it's hard. It's extremely difficult. No one's saying it's easy, but you can definitely do it. It's all in the effort and just knowing what to do and how to do it and creating habits and things like that. So for example, you, we all have smartphones and you can just start creating like a video blog or, you know, take pictures of whatever and put things on Instagram and just start creating some sort of social capital. And that's it. You know, you, you can definitely, you know, of course, you can definitely do it, and especially with all the tools that we have available. You know, you keep digging, you go online, you get all the information, you know, Wikipedia, through, you know, YouTube videos, you know, you can't find the information. You make the video if possible, contribute, things like that, you know. The more you contribute, the more, you know, you add, the, the bigger of a presence you are online, the more social capital you build, and aka hence, you know what I mean, that's when you know more the money starts coming in in the in the sense of marketers and marketing teams you know where you know everything needs to be sold you know at the end of the day you know we're still living in capitalism and you know you need to buy shoes or you need to buy food or you need to buy a camera you need to buy all kinds of things and you know right now people are not watching cable anymore people are watching things like youtube and these videos and so all of a sudden if you can you know create a way to you know if you can create an audience and create the eyes that are specific to a certain audience no matter how niche how you know tiny you know the audience might be but it's a specific audience on gardening a specific audience that are all doctors a specific audience that are all into you know writing or law or anything it doesn't matter any kind of you name it um, then when the marketers you know are looking to sell their product and you know instead of going to comcast or going to something like that and you know putting a commercial and having you know like five like millions of people view it but only you know hitting a couple of people as opposed to you know giving you the commercial whatever you know what anyway and, and that commercial like they know for a fact that like they're gonna get a hundred you know, like a thousand views, they're gonna get like 900 people probably, probably extremely interested in buying whatever product. And then each advertising, every advertisement is also geared towards the watcher. So the watcher also wants to watch the advertisement and it's, you know, the whole thing there. You got any more questions? Looking for the questions. Yes. So, no more. Yes, maybe. How can I get more capital to get my idea off the ground? Well, you know, let's just say that you already have a YouTube channel. Let's say you already have some sort of, uh, you know, uh, you you already bought into this whole thing before I even came about and started telling you about this. And you've, you know, you're already doing and making your mark, and you're asking, right? How can I make more, right? How can I, you know, broaden that? And it's like it's again, it's very simple, you know. Well. It's a simple, a simple answer, but it's a, a very, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, you got to execute. It's a lot to do. So, for example, you know, what, what I would do is that, again, you know, are, are you guys on social media? You know, those are the questions you got to ask yourself. You know, you got to ask, you know, what is the right social media, you know, avenue for me, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest or whatever it is, you know, YouTube. And, and again, you keep exploring that and then go with that. Go with whatever is best for your brand, for your situation. And, you know, once, uh, you know, once you figure that out and you're, you know, you're already on there, you know, don't, you know, you got to go for the quality, you know, followers, you know, you, you're, you know, you, again, it doesn't matter who follows you, but what I'm saying is that, you know, don't go, you know, looking, you know, for any kind of followers, you know, any just getting as many as possible, as many views, because that's not really what you want or what's going to bring you 
the audience that you want and you know everything that you know we're talking about here so you know again like uh you, you know you're looking for depth and not width okay and so when you you know go with what i mean by depth and not width is that when you are trying to get as many followers in the width perspective you get what i'm saying um what happens is is you know that doesn't work because you're just targeting just like i was talking in the comcast example where you're throwing a commercial you just you know getting a broad group of people and that's not really you know going after what you want so you need to go and target those people that are specific to what your brand and what you are so you go to like you gotta ask yourself see these questions like who is who are the people that i, I like i i'm influenced by i i you know the brands that i i want for them to see me whatever you you know that that world you know these are the questions you gotta ask yourself you know who you know like if you know you're into music what musician whatever why well, want you know to look at me if you're into fashion what fashion these like that whatever you know these questions you know tech doesn't matter once you answer that question you go to these people on their social media accounts and you you know look at their followers and you follow them and you follow you know other people that are influential in your industry you get what i'm saying so you know if you're into tech you know you follow the main guys that you know you want to follow in tech that are gonna you know maybe help you maybe not help you but uh, just like the influence in the sense of not really help but more like uh you know just you know you want to be in that group you know whatever it is if you're into fashion you want to be in you know and so and you're and once you put yourself in there you're there and once you're there you start interacting with them so it's not just following and liking and heart recording recording yeah. okay anyway so yeah sorry we had a couple <laughs> what happened <laughs> no <laughs> you recording ready all right so anyway sorry we had a couple technical difficulties there but regardless um I was getting a little long-winded and I'm sure you guys uh, got the gist of it but if you like this video you enjoyed it you want to know more learn more please by all means write comments you know write you know email me find me on Twitter Instagram everything's there and just um, yeah give me a, ask me questions and I'll answer them on the show I'll make another show as soon as I got enough questions from you guys and that's it let's start doing this all right let's uh, create a revolution Let's create that freedom we all desire and uh, let's do this. All right. Catch you next time. Thanks again. Bye. Good. Okay. Oh, hey, by the way, please, please, please subscribe, follow, like the show, please. It's going to be awesome, okay? You're going to love it. Well, I'm sure if you're still watching, you'll love it. So just anyway, click links to just... Do whatever you gotta do, follow, subscribe, alright? So you can help me, so I can help you, we can help each other. Have some fun, alright? Recording now, go. You wanna say something else? No, but you recorded the other stuff, right? Yeah. What I was just saying now? What you were saying?